this scratch video we are going to um, create a background and draw a path on it as you can see here and then we're going to program scratch to walk along that path so if we look at how to do the background first so I'm going to select the backdrop yours will be plain white here probably and I go to backdrops and in this case I went to choose a backdrop from the library and I chose the Malibu Beach one and click OK and then using the line tool I just drew, drew some lines on here and then that's my backdrop completed. I'm going to go back to my sprite now because we want the code to control the sprite. So I'm going to click scripts and I'm back in our interface. This is my output screen, these are my commands, this is where I'll build my script. So we begin by using the tool to start the program. In this case, we're using the green flag. And I will use clear just in case. Clear won't clear any of the beginning elements. So the first thing we want to do is move scratch to the beginning every time. So um, if we have a look, scratch is measured from about here. So we can see that at the start of the line here, he's at minus 200 or so minus 125. So the first thing I'm going to do at the start of every run of the program is take about a second to glide him to the start position at minus 200 minus 125. I'm also going to ensure he is facing to the right to walk along this path. So we're going to use point in the direction and we're going to select right which is 90 degrees. You can um, change this to any degree value you want. It's measured from the vertical. So let's have him say, I want to go swimming. I'm going to get him to say that for three seconds. This will mean when Scratch is reset to the start point, the computer will then pause for three seconds before running the code. So the first thing we want him to do is move along this line. So let's go to motion and do move and that's about 380 steps I think. And I can run the code to check. So that's about right. I now want him to face up so I'm going to point in direction up. And one thing we're going to add in periodically is we're going to have him wait for half a second before executing the next command. Otherwise, what happens is the computer will do all of these commands and it will just look like he will start here and magically appear here. But the wait command means it will do these two instructions and then stop. And so our next one, we want him to walk along that line then. So let's have him move. Maybe it's 90 steps. Let's quick check. Market line, yeah, it's about right. And then we want him to turn to the left. So we want to point in direction left. And so when we run this script, he's now going to be pointing the right way. Again, we're going to put our weight in. want him to move along here, so that's maybe 220. And this, from this line, is probably about 50 degrees. So we're going to point in direction. And if I double click this, I get 50. So let's run that and see where he ends up. So I think I want him to move just slightly further there. And I think I want him to move just slightly further up. Okay, we're going to do our weight again. One last time. And now we want him to move along this line if it's all working. So motion, move, and that's probably. 
200 steps into the sea. I will check that. Maybe not all as far as two. He's in the sea. And he's going to be happy in there, so let's have him do a little jig. So under control, I can use this repeat loop. So I'll repeat 10 times something in here, and let's have him um, turn on the spot, maybe turn 45 degrees one way, and then turn back 90 degrees. That will make him do a little swirly thing. And let's have, he's happy, so let's have him say, Yay. I'm going to run this script and hopefully Scratch will walk along the path, do a little jig and say yay. There we go. So you could either um, amend, this, amend this script or choose a background and draw a line and have a go at getting Scratch to walk along a line.